Good afternoon from Japan. So now we would like to start the keynote number three. My name is Tateyama, chair of the local organizing committee. So it's a pleasure for me to introduce the speaker of this, the keynote lecture number three. Before the keynote, let me explain briefly about the points of the today's keynote. So in the 1980s in Japan, economy grew rapidly and we were facing to a serious labor shortage. So in order to cope with this situation, many companies have actively conducted the research and the development to introduce the robot technology to the real construction sites. However, in the 1990s, as economic condition rapidly declined and the problem of labor shortage disappeared no longer and the development of construction robots rapidly lost its momentum. Even under, under such situation, the Japanese government wanted to develop the construction robot for the future, but it was not allowed to introduce them in, ord in ordinary public works because the robot construction are more expensive than ordinary, ordinary construction method. So Japanese government has taken a strategy to introduce the construction robot into the construction site, which were inaccessible due to the dangerous situation after natural disasters or confined narrow spaces for the maintenance of the infrastructure such as the drain pipe or so on. However, recently, research and the development of construction robot has become more and more heated again in Japan because the rapid decrease in the working age population has come to be recognized as a very serious problem for Japanese society. So development of construction, construction robot has followed such a history in Japan. Today, I would like to invite Dr. Yasushi Nita, representing the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism. It's an official name, so it's a long name, but briefly speaking, it's the Ministry of Construction. So this ministry has led the research and the development of construction robot continuously in such a social conditions. He will give a lecture on Japanese construction robot in public works today. After his keynote, we are going to have a question and answer time. If you have any questions or comment, please let us know in the chat board. I will select some of them and ask it to him, but time is so limited. Therefore, brief question and the short comment are easily to ask him. So your cooperation is much appreciated. So Dr. Nita, please start your lecture today. Thank you for introducing me. Uh, uh, I'm, my name is Yasushi Nitta uh, from Japanese Ministry of Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism. Thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to introduce the Japanese policies, technology policies. At the Ministry, I'm in charge of planning of promoting uh, policies related to development and introduction robot uh, used to inf infra infrastructure construction and maintenance and for disaster response. The government of Japan uh, set up the new robot strategy in 2015. Uh, with the last five years, as a robot revolution, evolution uh, intensive execution period. Under the new robot strategy, MLRT uh, set a, a goal to be achieved by 2020s and have promoted its introduction intensively. Three goals to be achieved in the public works in 2020. 
apply intelligent construction to 30% of ML, MLIT's uh, contract, apply inspection robot to 20% of important inf infrastructure inspection, improve the e efficiency of unmanned construction to the same level as manned. We believe that these goals have been almost achieved. For example, ICT cons construction has been applied to 80% of the earthwork carried out by MLRT last year. In the new robot strategy, disaster response, inspection of infrastructures, construction are set as three priority areas. Regarding disaster response, there are high expectations for the application of robots to activities under conditions where people are exposed to the threat of danger, such as earthquake, volcanoes, floods, and landslides. The photo the upper left is UAV for high precision serving the disaster area. The photo on the lower left are unmanned construction technology that stabilizes the collapsed mountain body by remote control from distance of one kilometer. Unmanned construction has already been put into practical use. It is realized by machine control based on video communication technology and 3D blueprint. In addition, the introduction of robots in disaster fields such as floods and volcanoes in one of our priority areas. As concrete goals to achieve this, for inspection robots, we will utilize a robot for 20% of important infrastructure inspection. And for disaster response robots, we have set the um, target to realize construction efficiency, which is not inferior uh, compared to manned construction. This figure shows the overall pictures of the field verification project. We recruited inspection robots for three years and verified the fun their function on the actual site. For bridge inspection and tunnel inspection, we plan to certify performance of the robot for the requirement. In addition, we like to propose a new inspection method using robot achieve more efficient maintenance management. On site verification, various type of inspection robots were proposed, exceeding 100 technologies. The background uh, to MLIT's strong promotion of the introduction of robots into the public works project is the existen existence of issues such as Japan being a disaster prone countries and labor shortages due to the aging of society. Furthermore, in order to overcome the labor shortage in the construction industry, there is an urgent need to improve the productivity and safety of construction work. In particular, Japan is one of the most earthquake prone countries in the world. There are four large plates around Japanese arch Pelagio. Many plate type earthquakes occur and volcanic activities active. Following the Great East Japan earthquake in 2011, the magnitude 7.3 earthquake hit Kumamoto in 2016, causing a devastating damage. In Japan, we have to strengthen our national round and make effort to countermeasures for large-scale earthquakes, such as 
capital inland earthquake that has a strong possibility to Japan. The uh, introduction of full ledge unmanned construction technologies began with restoration project after the volcanic eruption of Mount Unzen Fugen in Kyushu in 1991 first. As shown in this photo, the uh, pyroclastic flows and debris flows caused by the volcanic eruption hit, uh, hit the town. Serious damage occurred and schools were burned down by the uh, pyroclastic flows and houses were buried by the debris flows. The eruption left 44 people dead or missing and damaged 2,000 511 buildings. During the eruption disaster, the removal of sediment that becomes a source of debris flows was urgently needed in danger zone that might be reached by the pyroclastic flows with a speed of 100 km per hour over. For stone removal and erosion control works such as dosing, soil gathering, excavating, loading, and transportation, a technology was developed that implements uh, construction by remote controlling heavy machine equipment with GPS using wireless communication. Initially, construction work was carried out in condition of temperature at 100 degrees Celsius and 100% humidity and during the construction work block size of about two to three meters how to be crushed and removed together with earth and sound by remote control from more than 100 meters away thanks to decision to adopt the technologies we could achieve the excavation of channels, the construction of concrete debris or debris barrier, and installation of steel slips, all without human entering the construction site. Not only could we reduce the risk debris flows and pyroclastic flows, but cons construction companies and the equipment manufacturers could also gather experience and know-how and unmanned construction technology have progressed greatly. At first, we started with radio control bulldozers, but now it has become possible to work from control rooms, which are more than 30 kilometers away from the construction site. This slide shows the remote control of underwater bulldozer which began around 1969. And unmanned construction makes use of information construction uh, of recent years. We call it ICT construction. Bulldozers and excavator works together and the work capacity has improved dramatically. Now, I want to give you a short introduction about UCS, Unmanned Construction System, with the most simple uh, direct operation method. And the operator conducts a remote control at a close range by direct visual observation. Operation distance is limited to a range of about uh, 50 meters at which visual observation is possible. This we called the first generation. The second generation is a method by using a camera image, generally for a range of less than 300 meters. If you use a radio relay vehicle, you can conduct remote control up to, up to the range of the about 600 meters. Roller compacted concrete method 
uh, leveling and compacting method using rollers was introduced to build concrete dams with molds using gravel. In the Haksan erosion control project, uh, debris barrier construction work was conducted using a 50 ton suspension plane. All the construction work, such as earthwork, the setting up of the uh, cylindrical uh, mold block, concrete pressing, compaction and uh, construction joint processing were conducted by remote control. Armand construction with the ISM method, in situ mixing method, which utilizes the gravel available on the construction site was also conducted. With the third generation, we improve work efficiency by introducing machine guidance and the machine control using the design. UCS have evolved to actual disaster response since the volcanic eruption of Mount Usu in 2000. Their application in urban areas has been required under remote construction from a long distance of more than one kilometer has become possible. Since 2000, the uh, reconstruction work with a greater accuracy has been realized thanks to progress of surveying technology such as GPS, the peeling of concrete block, the construction of debris barriers using cylindrical mold models. In addition, since 20, 2005, with the introduction of information construction, machine control has been used and the efficiency of high precision construction has made further progress. With a fourth generation, by compressing and exchanging high volumes of high definition image data through a communication network, remote control from ultra long distance, more than 30 kilometers, has become possible. Network type UCS was put to practical use through on-site validation at Mount Unzen in 2011. The installation of Operation U was carried out quickly in just one hour. During this experiment, in addition to optical cable communication over the distance of 80 kilometers, a variety of communication methods, such as satellite, mobile phone, TV radio waves, and long-range wireless LAN were applied. Fourth-generation UCS is said to be the further construction technology that utilizes information network and ICT. This picture shows UCS was introduced for work to remove the unsta unstable debris at the top of part of deep seated landslide that had occurred in Nara Prefecture. This is an aerial photograph of the disaster site in 2012. The operator performed the operation at a distance of about one kilometer from the heavy machinery. From the operating room to the place near the site, optical fiber has been laid and video and machine control data is communicated via wireless LAN. By creating three-dimensional construction data, which combine design information with uh, topographical information obtained in advance by aerial survey, safe and high precision construction become possible. 
In particular, as a rate is operating uh, automatically, it has become possible for the operator to level to the design site by, perform by performing only forward and reverse operation. This is uh, work performed by machine control type bulldozer. The blade is automatically uh, controlled. The operator can con uh, concentrate on performing the reverse and forward. In addition to the small camera image, uh, he is looking at uh, there is a small display. There, the excavation section uh, that is a uh, work target is displayed based on the three-dimensional design data. There's an excavation section that is work target displayed based on the three-dimensional design data. The number of the uh, lights show the difference between the design value and the blade height. Below that, uh, designed uh, gradient of ground and the angle of the in this construction, uh, all machines are done by remote control. Also, remote control is not autonomous operations. It should be noted that this is a dangerous area where a landslide may occur again due to aftershocks and that manned construction cannot be performed. Our originality is to propose an effective new technology that can be used at the actual construction site to carry out construction in order to prevent the spread of damage in dangerous area where people cannot enter. And the construction was able to be completed by combining the technologies that can actually be applied. A specific uh, example, we will introduce the realization of saving labor and uh, becoming automatic control of crawler carrier and remote control excavator. Uh, 55 people were killed and more than uh, 180,000 people were evacuated from the Kumamoto earthquake. And about 8,300 houses were completely destroyed, and 160,000 houses were damaged. The Aso Bridge collapsed due to the large scale landslide caused by the earthquake. This video shows the situation in the uh, Nami Aso area taken with a drone. There are an arch bridge in front of the building uh, that are led to, but it collapsed. Uh, this uh, image, you can see the wooden structure uh, miracle, miraculously uh, enduring uh, on the stone wall of Kumamoto, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, this image is a Kumamoto castle. Uh, you can see the right hand. Uh, there is a stone wall. This is a miracle. Uh, it's, uh, but it's a very dangerous situation. A remote control unit called Sarogate, introduced by Obayashi Corporation, is used for this restoration work to restore the stone wall, which is cultural property. It is necessary to correct each stone, walking directly under Ishigaki, uh, where there is a risk of collapse uh, due to aftershocks. It's extreme, extremely dangerous. The surrogate system can be operated remotely by attaching a camera and a control device to the ordinary hydraulic excavator. Unexpected heavy rains and floods are also on the rise due to the progress of global warming. 
Uh, this video shows damage uh, caused by the overflowing river uh, that was damaged by the collapse of the mountain body that occurred in Kyushu in 2017. UAVs are now investigating dangerous locations. If the valley collapsed, the natural dam will be performed. Natural dam will be uh, formed more dangerous situation. Uh, this slide shows a river blockage which occurred in the areas affected by the uh, US earthquake of magnitude 7.4 that occurred in October 2004. In this village, landslide uh, caused a 52 river blockage and the formation of landslide dams. In the, this area, uh, the great volume of damming sediment, uh, pumping uh, drainage with emergency, emergency uh, drainage channels was carried out in a 24 hours operation in order to prevent a collapse uh, of the dam by overflow. Uh, this slide shows the natural dam almost overflow with a height of 31 meter. At this time, Several landslide uh, dams also occurred in this downstream area. Because a water channel to prevent a collapse by the overflow, how to set quickly, UCS with its low efficiency was not applied and the water channel excavation was carried out with manned work under dangerous conditions. Workers were working while being exposed to the danger of being hit by mud stream from upstream. This picture shows a uh, dam uh, from the previous slide seen from downstream side. Landslide sediment has been uh, scoring uh, by drainage in order to pre prevent uh, collapse by scoring. The helicopter has dropped the concrete block and the ready mix concrete. This was uh, quite the situation. This is a situation uh, downstream due to the landslide dam, a vast dam lake uh, has occurred. Here you can see the roof of uh, submerged houses floating on the water. Quick response is required before the situation becomes like this. Uh, what is the value of robot to real realize in public works? It is to realize the safety of people's lives and the economy. In this case of the natural dam mentioned earlier, uh, if the UCS started quickly and the work efficiency was high, it may have been more effective in preventing the spread of damage. A technology some evolved. However, a further evolution is still required. Improving work efficiency is important. In Japan, in order to foster the technology, we have adopted this technology to activity disaster restoration work. So far, UCS has been adopted at more than 150 sites it has given good results to landslide disaster site all over Japan. We MLRT deploy a remote control type excavation, excavator in each regional bureau. In addition, this excavator can be disassembled uh, so that uh, air transport by helicopter become possible. The photo on the right hand side shows a robo cube Called RoboQ, a device to enable the remote uh, operation of a general purpose excavator by loading uh, on the driver's seat. PWRI is a national institute for the field of civil engineering, is uh, developing loss uh, platform for ICT construction in order to promote further technological development of robots and software. 
we have already prototyped uh, remote uh, controlled excavator and simulator support uh, that support ROS. Uh, this year, PWRI will set up. Uh, this year, PWRI will set up the next generation unmanned construction test field using a 5G network uh, in Tsukuba, Japan. We aim to uh, contribute to reach a uh, development by various uh, developers utilizing common rules. With uh, regard to disaster recovery, the construction industry has uh, played an important part. However, in Japan, we are facing full-blown aging society. And the number of skilled workers has been especially declining rapidly. This shocking graph shows the fact 35% of skilled workers are more than uh, 55 years old. And there are only 10% of workers uh, who are less than 30 years old. A labor shortage is expected due to mass retirement in the next 10 years. Therefore, because of the need to enhance the productivity uh, of the construction industry. And now I mentioned to deal with aging of social infrastructure in Japan. Their total number of bridges is about 700,000 as of 2010. Those uh, 15 meters or longer uh, that were more than 50 years old accounted for 8% total. That percentage is expected to raise 53% in 20, 2030s. This picture uh, shows accident that tunnel named uh, Sasago Tunnel, uh, which roof slab uh, collapsed over the 130 meters in the expressway, and nine persons were dead. Failure to implement a uh, hammering test uh, during pe pe periodic uh, inspections was found to be the reason for the accident. With this as a, a turning point, Emergency inspections have been conducted to tunnels all over the country, and lots of problems were identified. This strengthens uh, our uh, conviction that cons uh, consistent uh, repair and improvement efforts are needed if social infrastructure is to be used over a long period of time. This photo shows a uh, diagonal member of steel truss bridge broken due to the collision. Uh, this bridge is Kisoga Bridge uh, constructed 50 years ago. Identification of problem uh, through inspection and uh, countermeasures uh, for the defect found, such as crack in wheels, are becoming increasingly important. Our road law was uh, revised in 2013 to make it mandatory uh, perform close range visual inspection of tunnels and bridge every five years. Eshima Ohash uh, is a Japan's largest concrete bridge with total length of 1.7 kilometers and a height of 44 meters. It will be uh, the third largest PC digit frame structures bridge in the world. Since the slope of uh, this bridge uh, reaches 6%, it's, uh, it's difficult to frame bridge. Ah, sorry. Uh, it is very difficult uh, to uh, regulate uh, alternate traffic. And the uh, use of robot has been uh, desired. At SIP, SIP, a strategic innovative creation program, uh, developed bridge inspection robots, uh, evaluated the ability uh, to detect the damage such as surface crack. In this area, wind speed uh, can reach up to 
uh, 10 meter uh, per second. So inspection of which girders required ability. Uh, compact compare sorry, compare the size of the robot and the bridge. Uh, image how large a uh, civil engineering structure is and how huge amount of image data uh, needed uh, to be uh, managed to uh, detect flux with a uh, width of a small 0.2 millimeters. So this uh, robot uh, developed uh, uh, the program uh, of SIP. We are uh, promoting not only verification, but also promoting uh, technical development as cross ministerial project. We call SIP Strategic Innovate Shown promotion program for a five years project. We intended to carry out the development of new technologies uh, that will be needed in the near future. We will develop environment uh, favorite for introduction of robot technologies. For example, uh, we are studying the structures most appro appropriate uh, for robot inspection and the research and development work is being done in, uh, on the robot information markers. Uh, introducing the underwater heavy dump truck uh, jointly developed by the government and private companies this vehicle is a dump truck that weighs 10 tons and can run to the depth of two meters. In flooded Japan, uh, this vehicle is useful for quick recovery work in flooded areas where ships with depths below uh, two meters cannot be used. Uh, it is a remote controllable carry equipped with a non-contact underwater sensor. Uh, that check the underwater terrain uh, to realize safe driving. This video demonstrates that in the riverbed excavation work of Kyushu, uh, the Kyushu is Kuma River. The river with a maximum depth of 1.8 meter was crossed uh, 100 meter speed of 8 kilometer per hour. It was confirmed that there was no problem uh, with flow velocity of the river up to about five kilometers. In the growth strategy, uh, which is a budget guideline uh, set by Japanese government, the Ministry of Land Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, strongly uh, emphasize uh, productivity improvement in the infrastructure field increase uh, construction site productivity by 25% by 2026. To that end, we will introduce core technologies uh, such as AI and robots to uh, popularize ICT construction. We will also utilize BIM in the public works uh, project by 2023. The government has declared uh, those these goals. So, in order to quickly and carry out the recovery work efficiency uh, in this project, and we implemented uh, functional verification at the actual site. In addition. Uh, to the two areas of damage, damage surveys and emergency recovery, uh, we designed uh, design the, uh, the three areas of maintenance. As a result of on-site verification, we have been promoting uh, the use of those technologies that obtain the excellent
for on-site verification, we anticipate uh, the collapse of tunnel, volcanic eruption, landslide, and, and debris flows. And the uh, disasters for which robots are expected to be utilized. As far as the uh, type of robot, we anticipate uh, the use of flying type, roller type, uh, uh, drainage robot, uh, construction robot. A total of 100 technologies were uh, checked in on-site verification as uh, providers uh, responded uh, to the public recruitment over a two years period. Disaster survey robot includes UAVs with laser scanner. The UAVs are capable of uh, sampling volcanic ash. There are also robots with uh, penetration tests. Uh, which are uh, capable of surveying the bearing power of ground, and robots uh, capable of surveying uh, collapse uh, tunnel. Among the emergency response robots, are the autonomously uh, controlled uh, vibration roller, and amount uh, and mounted robot used for remote control of ordinary construction machinery. This photo shows actual collapse of 20 tons of the concrete during the earthquake. In this project, uh, unmanned survey robot performed a survey while transmitting live on the spot image over the length of the dark tunnel, uh, 700 meter long. Uh, first year, but all of the applicants uh, failed. But second year, the technology was uh, completed the investigation of 700 meters. This flying robot uh, can achieve the rapid survey of the uh, inaccessible location. Uh, here we will introduce some technology uh, that uh, receive high evaluations from the view of accuracy, transportability. This slide shows a uh, a uh, step of for full scale introduction. Uh, in addition, two areas damage service, and emergency recovery uh, from disaster, we designated three areas of maintenance. As a result of on site verification, we have been promoting uh, domestic use of the technologies that obtained excellent evaluation, for example, by including disaster agreement. In order to develop the deployment of inspection robot, uh, it plans to develop uh, for the inspection and inspection procedures uh, that can demonstrate uh, the features of the robot, how to use the robot in the inspection uh, outcome, how to organize the uh, delivery method of data that the robot acquires. So uh, now I'd like to mention about uh, the aiming uh, of trial introduction of robot. The use of inspection robot in social infrastructure maintenance offers uh, merit of labor saving and keeping uh, reproduct reproductive uh, record. Uh, for trial in uh, introduction, we'd like to propose not only robot operation procedures, but also method uh, used to deliver the inspection record. Data uh, acquired by robot is most valuable uh, for infrastructure administrators. Current inspection method uh, depends uh, on manpower. Only the uh, enlarged uh, photos of detected damage uh, left uh, available. As an infrastructure uh, DX, digital transformation, MLIT is promoting uh, the introduced production of BIM, SIM, uh, in order to uh, improve the efficiency of design, uh, construction, and maintenance cycles. In particular, we are working on the method to manage a large number of inspection uh, images using 3D model. Uh, this is an example of 3D uh, viewer. Uh, 
uh, of inspection image. It is 3D model that automatically generated from SFM from 1,000 photos taken by uh, UAB. The position and the, uh, direction in which the picture was taken are uh, ex expressed by a pyramid. Inspection uh, pictures uh, of large structures require a lot of time and cost uh, to organize the location of the damage. The, this technology is capable of, of automating work. In the near future, uh, photo management with 3D model will be expected. MLIT have started to uh, develop robot inspection business system by using AI with private companies. Inspection robots, unlike people, uh, get large number of photo and videos. AI can process faster than people uh, to decipher large amounts of image from ro robot. In order to improve the efficiency of robot inspection, we aim to achieve high detection efficiency by AI. Additionally, uh, we will develop uh, supervised data with the input of expert, and we will promote the installation of evaluation system. Uh, we'd like to propose uh, uh, to the local government uh, of Japan that manage the huge bridges and tunnels uh, records and store inspection image or 3D model. However, uh, I think that in order to do so, need a viewer that uh, confirms the uh, form of the inspection report in the standardized inspection guidelines. Uh, in addition, local governments and administrators in Japan think that's desirable to have data in Japan because they are concerned that the data will be lost due to some kind of trouble. I think that the operation from operation form of putting the uh, cloud server, uh, which accumulates data in Japan and putting the program in the uh, United States is I think that it is possible uh, to propose an effective business uh, model by preparing a viewer uh, corresponding to the inspection business standard and downloaded function of the uh, generated data. We hope that uh, Isaac uh, will lead to energetic technology exchanges and the realization of excellent uh, rewarding business activity. Thank you very much. Uh, my uh, speech is over. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. So I think that you have the, a lot of the topics that you would like to introduce, but the, we are sorry, but the, we cannot prepare enough time for your lecture. So I have a lot of the questions. So, Dr. Anita, do you see the chat board? Yes. The chat board, no, okay. So, please check the chat board. So, first question, do you see the Dr. Boroja Garesha de Soto? Uh, do you see the long question? Boro Boroja-san. Yes, yes, Boroja-san because the, he yes. must move to the next session because the, he is the session chair of the next okay. session. So I want to pick up the first, this question. So many of the remote operations you indicate heavily. I think the problem of the, the some of the hacking between the machine and the operators. Do you understand? Uh, yes, just a moment. Uh, 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 some uh, cyber cyber oh, attack, yes. you, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, it's a very important. Um, now uh, we are just planning uh, to prevent the cyber uh, physical uh, attack. Uh, 
But、uh, so Japanese government has、uh, decided to uh, uh, began to start a cloud system、uh, to manage the、uh, data、uh, related infrastructure, but uh, uh, not have started yet. <laughs> So this year,、uh, we will、uh, we will、uh, con constructing the、uh, database for digital transformation. Transformation.、Uh, so we will just starting to study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will be it's very、really、important, but the serious the subject that we must tackle from now. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Good point. I think so. So, could you see the chat board again? So, the first question is the, about the radiations. Radiations. Radiation. The first question. So, from the Dr. Wilson Cho. Radiation. Ah, the radiation. This Fukushima. To the radiation. The impact will not be felt. To be felt. えー、とそれってあの、福島の話ですね。放射線で機械が影響を受けなかったかという話です。あ、uh, uh, 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 how do you say,、uh, influence to the、uh, electronic devices,、uh, as you know.、Uh, but、uh, other places, we have no, no trouble. <laughs> like,、uh, I don't know I,、uh, this kind of trouble has reported. Yes. So, so but, uh, yeah. Uh, I've heard that、uh, we worry about the effect of the radiation in the recovery job from, from the, the nuclear plants. Yeah, we worry about it, but I've heard that not so big the effort the, the construction robot has been the, got, not so big the effect we don't see in the、yeah, unmanned control system. From the radiation, I think so. Is it okay, Nita san? Ah, so it is. Yes, yes. Okay, so next question.、Uh, okay, so next one is the thank you for the fascinating presentation. How many cameras were placed per equipment? 300. 60 degree view may be required for working in the dangerous construction?、Uh, yes, some, some work sites have apply, already applied、uh, the, such a、uh, 360、uh, around view cameras. Some work sites have applied uh, 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 the integrated、uh, image data.、Uh, How do you say round view monitor?、Uh, and uh, uh, most of the、uh, work sites、uh, apply to UCS. So they apply to,、uh, two or three cameras for each machinery.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two or three cameras. It depends on the size.、Oh, okay. 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 So I want to discuss more, but the time is limited. So now we have come to the end of our allocated time. I would like to close the keynote number three. So, when we started the pre preparation of the symposium last year, we are willing to show some of the real construction robots that the Dr. Nita introduced in his presentation. So, however, we can't show you the real machines at the online symposium. So We have prepared the video site to introduce some of the Japanese construction robots. So, also, 
the videos on the site are just a small part of the Japanese construction robots, and uh, half of the videos are explained in Japanese. But the, we hope you can see the current status of the Japanese construction robots. So please refer and visit to the website of the online symposium. We uh, paste the, a lot of the uh, number of the videos, is the, I think the 20. 20 videos we paste, so please visit the web website of the, this online symposium. So Dr. Nita, I think that, that your lecture has given a deep understanding of the current state of the Japanese construction robot technologies. Thank you again for your interesting presentation. Thank and you very much, uh, Tatema-sensei.